It's Moisturize, the new, all new, Rolly 903 cigarette. Listen. That jet of fresh, pure moisture stands for the new, different, moisturized Rolly 903. New blend, new taste, new freshness. It's the new, all new, moisturized Rolly 903. Program starring Rex ah, Kelton, down, uh, David Forrester and his orchestra, our singing star Anita Ellis, Gigi Pearson, Verna Felton, Pat McGee, and <laughs> Wonderful Smith, and yours truly, Rod O'Connor. Happy New Year! It's a pleasure to bring you Metro Golden Mayor's popular comedian and the star of the Raleigh Cigarette Program, Rex Kelton. Thank you very much, and Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye, 46, and we're glad to get rid of you. <laughs> 903, Rod. 903, Red. Well, Red, here it is, New Year's Eve. Oh, it can't be. Why? You're still standing up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, just a minute, Red. I'll have you know I don't imbibe. Oh? I celebrate New Year's Eve by listening to the radio, and then at 12 o'clock I have a warm glass of milk and go to bed. That's fine. Forrest Lawn heard about you after... <laughs> Well, how are you going to bring the New Year in, Red? I got nothing to do with it. I'll stand there and it'll come on its own. You know, <laughs> you know I've got a hunch that 47 is my year to win the Academy Award. You mean next year? No, when I'm 47. <laughs> well, I sure hope it doesn't rain like it did at Christmas time. Yeah, you know, the Chamber of Commerce out here in California was really wonderful to everyone. They gave them a pool in their backyard. <laughs> Say, by the way, Red, how do you like that Cocker Spaniel puppy that Vernon and I gave you for Christmas? Oh, he's a corker, he is. He's wonderful. <laughs> he knows more tricks. How did you ever teach him to tear up a rug like that, huh? <laughs> well, what do you call the dog? I'm going to call him 1946. If he doesn't behave, he's going out tonight. <laughs> Oh, by the way, here's a New Year's greeting from our sponsor, Mr. Rawley. Oh, yeah, a mm-hmm. telegram to... Oh, he's a sly one, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He sent it at 9.03 a.m. <laughs> it says, 1946 was filled with hope. Let's see if we can make 1947 filled with skeleton. <laughs> Please, there's two ways to take that applause. <laughs> So you're going to make New Year's Eve re- resolutions, Red? Yeah, I'm, I'm making the first resolution. I'm not going to punch any tigers in the mouth this year. What kind of a resolution is that? You never have punched a tiger in the I mouth. I know, but I'm going to have a resolution this year that I can keep. <laughs> you go to the Rose Bowl game tomorrow? <laughs> the guy that wrote that's no longer with us. You know? <laughs> you go to the Rose Bowl game tomorrow? Am I going to the Rose Bowl? I'm going to watch the game from my front porch. You can't see anything from there. You live 30 miles away. It's closer than those $50 bargains they're selling. <laughs> Take it, Father. Listen. That jet of fresh, pure moisture stands for the new, all new, Rolly 903 cigarette. It's moisturized to stay fresh longer. It's moisturized to taste better. It's moisturized to smoke milder. Yes, this new Rolly 903 is moisturized by the revolutionary new 903 process. That fresh, clean, beneficial moisture penetrates every leaf, every fiber of Rolly's choice tobaccos, brings you new mellow taste, new mildness, new freshness. It's the new, all new Rolly 903. And medical science offers you proof positive. No other leading cigarette gives you less nicotine, less throat-irritating tars. Smokers, smoke this new Rawley 903. New blend, new freshness, new taste. You'll see the number 903 on the government stamp. This Rawley 903 is new. All new. Smoke the new, all new, Rawley 903. It's moisturized.
And now my mother, Anita Ellis, will say, <laughs> for sentimental reasons. <laughs> of satire uh, also has poetry and music about Old Man Winter. In the Yukon was found once a bum, frozen stiff over his bottle of rum. Unable to straighten this hombre, this Satan, they just buried the bum in a drum. <laughs> Chapter One, I'll Get the Man Who Got My Gal. Wanting to stop as long as he's running, you can keep warm. Yeah. Man, am I freezing? Is your nose cold? I don't know. I scratched him three miles back and it fell off. <laughs> him? <laughs> no, it. <laughs> Thought maybe you had two heads and you lost one of your noses. <laughs> mm. You say, uh, is it always this cold up here? No, only nine months out of the year. Then the freezing spell sets in. <laughs> I got a notion to set my fire, set fire to my celluloid collar. Now, let's got, not get hot-headed here, old Brian. <laughs> now, Dad, I really, let's turn back. Look at them snow clouds ahead while we're heading for a blizzard. Oh. I'm so cold now, I'm turning blue. <laughs> Navy, that is. <laughs> We can't turn back. We can't turn back. <clears throat> yeah, no, we can't turn back. <laughs> I gotta turn back and read this line. Huh? I gotta find Jim Harkins, the critter that stole my gal and my gold claim. Yeah, well, money ain't everything, and yeah. as far as the gal is concerned, why, there's plenty more fish in the sea. Yeah, I ain't intend to marry up with no mackerel. <laughs> I love Clementine. She's really a beautiful gal. Mm -hmm. She's got a swan like Nick. Yeah, lots of gals have. She's got webbed feet, too. 
I'm going to marry her someday. Yeah, well, how about that gal in El Dorado? Well, there's something fishy about her. You mean because her eyes were on the side of her head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she was a good girl. Her heart was like the army, open to all men between the ages of 18 and 35. <laughs> well, we better get a move on, or we're going to freeze to death up here. Someday I'm going to go where it never gets cold. Yeah, but you're going to have to die to make it. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's a... <laughs> there's a town ahead. We'll ride for it. What do you say? Okay. Hmm? Say, what time is it? Did I, I don't know. I swallowed my Mickey Mouse watch the other day. <laughs> really? Does it give you any trouble? Only when I try to wind it. <laughs> These horses are going to last much longer while the snow is boiling up on their hooves. Well, just reach in my saddle pack there, get that Esquire, turn to page 57, it'll melt that snow in no time. <laughs> the same guy that wrote that joke wrote the other one in the head. Both suckers stayed up all night to write that stuff. <laughs> well, maybe we can stop and trade these horses for a couple of dog teams. Okay. Well, boy, maybe we can get the Brooklyn Dodgers. We'll go into this uh, trading post here and get warmed up. <laughs> hey, nice place here. Yeah, boy, look at that fire in that fireplace. Shut that door! Shut <laughs> <Get> your trap! <laughs> look, this puss, I don't take that kind of talk from nobody. Oh, a Vassar girl, eh? Huh? <laughs> look, get back to the wilderness, wolf girl. There's Jim's presence. Ain't you got no learning? I'll have you know I'm a self-made woman. Yeah? She'd let somebody else do the face you show sure messed up. <laughs> what can I do for you gypsies? We ain't gypsies, ma'am. You're wearing earrings. Jim's icicles. <laughs> you got any dog teams for sale? Dog teams? Yep. Sounds like you might be heading further north. Yep. You must be on a pretty important mission to pike this blizzard. Yeah, I'm looking for a sagebrusher named Jim Hawkins. He stole my gal and my money. Jim Hawkins, huh? Uh-huh. Well, your destination has been reached. You'll find him over at the Klondike Honky Tonk. Probably with Fred Allen. Well, come on, partner. <laughs> Say, look, Mr. Dad, I, you, I mean, uh, yes, you are. You really walking into trouble. That Jim Hawkins is a fast man with a 45 and a good shot, too. Yeah, you ain't doing bad with it yourself. <laughs> I can shoot fast as anybody. You see that pine cone hanging from that tree? Yeah. What? <laughs> see that barn door over there? <laughs> Come on, we'll go inside here. <laughs> Is there a gal around here named Clementine? Yes, she's over there. (laughs) He's laughing, boy, tonight, you know. He's happy because he finally got a line. (laughs) Here's a dollar tip, old boy. Go get a haircut, will you? Thanks, it would be good to see out again. (laughs) Yeah, you won't have to pay dues now. Petrilla will never recognize you. Careful smoking, you could have a brush fire there, you know. There's my old gal. Howdy, gal. Howdy, stranger. I ain't no stranger, gal. It's me, did I? Oh, did I? I didn't recognize you. You scared me at first. I don't doubt it, gal. Seems like I'm always scaring people. One Halloween, I scared my mother and father to death. Oh, how? I was born. <laughs> By the way, did I, aren't you getting a little arty? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, that gorgeous hand-painted tie. Say, look, is that a petty girl you got painted on that tie? No, that's Lena Romai, the actress. Oh. I always like to feel that women like Lena Romai is hanging around my neck. <laughs> Same boy wrote it. <laughs> look, Al, I came a long way through this storm to see you. You got to give up this guy, Jim Hawkins. Well, <clears throat> I guess I do have what it takes. Yeah, too bad what you got ain't taken, though. Huh? <laughs> Don't move, did I? Well, howdy, Jim. I ain't up here looking for trouble. I just come to get my gal and my money and to take you back to Texas. I ain't looking for no trouble. 
boys down there got a rope necktie waiting for you. You talk like a tough man. Yeah, you try and act like one. I ain't acting. Where I come from, we eat a whole steer at one sitting. Oh, you do? Yeah. Huh? Well, where I come from, we take a raw steer, butter it so it'll slide down easier, then we sit in a hot kettle of boiling water to cook it. A hot Look. kettle of water to cook it. Look here, Dad. I... We're acting very childish. We shouldn't be fighting. You can have your gal. Take her with you, but leave me here. You didn't even have to come all the way up here, did I? No, you could have wrote me a letter. I'd have sent her back. Please, she loves you. You got money. Take her back to Texas. But please, leave me here. I can't stand that climate. Please, my boy, control yourself. We ain't selling soap, you know. <laughs> yeah, did I? Leave the coward here. Well, anyway, I couldn't stand to see him hang around. Well, if we get through the blizzard, well... Where's we... that pillar that was looking for a dog team? Here I am. Well, I got you 12 dogs and this lead dog. He's oh. the finest you ever seen. Mm-hmm. Nice and friendly, too. Yeah, howdy, boy. Yeah, well, he does seem friendly for a Pekingese, don't he? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and pet him. He can't fight. No teeth. Oh, nice, boy. Oop. Won't bite, huh? You see the fingers on my left hand? He's got no fingers on your left hand. Mighty rugged gums he's got, man. Listen. That jet of fresh, pure moisture stands for the new, all new, Rolly 903 cigarette. It's moisturized to stay fresh longer. It's moisturized to taste better. It's moisturized to smoke milder. Yes, this new moisturized Rolly 903 is unlike any Rolly cigarette you've ever smoked before. It's new. All new. New blend. New freshness. New taste. And remember, medical science offers proof positive. According to tests certified by a jury of 14 doctors, no other leading cigarette gives you less nicotine... Less throat-irritating tars. The new Rolly 903 is moisturized by the revolutionary new 903 process. That fresh, clean, beneficial moisture penetrates every leaf, every fiber of Rolly's choice tobaccos. Brings you a new mellow taste, new mildness, new freshness. Smoke the new, all new, Rolly 903. It's moisturized. <laughs> and his Raleigh Cigarette Orchestra play a medley of... Uh, uh, it's a musical picture of New Year's Eve, all the instruments having a good time.
Chapter 2, The First Snow. Junior made a snowball real quick, threw it at a guy with a walking stick. He was knocked out cold, and if the truth were told, inside of the trick was a brick. What a beautiful sight. The earth blanketed in snow. Oh, Junior. Yes, kiddo. Come downstairs. Okay. I'll slide down the banister. You'll be quicker. What did you break? Meow. Meow. Put that cat outside and come here. It's still wet. It's still wet. Did you look out your window upstairs? Not me. I don't raise them window blinds. Not after what happened the last time, boy. I forgot to let go of the cord, and I shot up with the blind. Wound me around the little road. I got the worst spanking there. I got me. Yeah, look out the window. Okay, I look out the window. Oh, Jesus. Does this mean the sugar shortage is over? No, dear. That's snow. Oh, snow? Oh, boy, I'm going to make a snowman. I'm going to make him look like Uncle Slim Cadillac Hopper, see? As if I can find stool, but enough looking snow. (laughs) Can I go out and play? Well, do you have your long underwear on? Yeah, I got on my long heavies, and I got on my heavy shirt, and my wool socks, and my pants, and my tight top shoes, and my overcoat. Well, I'm proud of you dressing yourself without my help. You must? Yeah, how'd you do it? I slept in them last night. You can go outside until breakfast is ready. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, I'll go with you and pick up the morning paper. Oh. Careful going down the steps now. They're slippery. No! Oh, no. oh, 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 Are you all right? That hurt me arm. Did you bump your funny bone? Yeah, my funny bone lost his sense of humor. <laughs> hey, where'd all this ice come from? Mother Nature freezes the water. Boy, she really got stiff last night. Didn't she? <laughs> Hey, watch me. I'm going to go belly whopping. Oh, I'll never do that again. <laughs> to go belly whopping, Junior, you need a sled. Now she tells me. What are you doing? Making a snowball? Yeah, a nice, big, fat, juicy one. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't hit Grandma with it, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why they let women vote. <laughs> There's Mr. Fowler. Oh, there's Mr. Fowler. Look, he's wearing a new derby hat and me with a snowball. <laughs> now, he ought to know better than that. <laughs> I'll just close my eyes and hope for the best. <laughs> oh, boy, it's a good thing he had his kisser open and it hit him right in the mush, you know. <laughs> oh, here he comes, here he comes. Brother, did you see what Junior did? No, what? He hit me with a snowball. It was patted around a brick. It was not a brick. It was not a brick. It was a brick. It was not a brick. It was not a brick. It was flagstone. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. You throw snowballs and people won't like you. Well, that'll be an improvement because they hate me now. <laughs> now, look, young man, you behave yourself. No, okay, I'll try, but I'm fighting a losing battle. I know that. <laughs> now throw that other snowball down. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it broke the upstairs window, Grandma. Did you do that on purpose? No, on this side didn't. I was aiming at the downstairs window. <laughs> oh, you were. Yes. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Now I'm going to tell. You're going to tell what? I'm going to tell everybody who used to be a whack lieutenant in George Washington's army. <laughs> you know I'm not that old. Oh no. We're crossing the Delaware tonight, Lieutenant. Good. I'll have coffee and donuts ready at the dock, Jenny. Yeah! <laughs> Boy, I thought that you were tired tonight, Grandma. Well, I must be going. Where were you going so early, Mr. Fowler? Go I'm read your Tom Tom this... book. Will you go read your Tom Tom book? This is winter sports. Would you care to go skiing, Verna? Oh, no. I know nothing about skiing. Yeah. Hey, Grandma, look how big his feet is. Those aren't his feet. They're not. No. Boy, he sure let his toenails get away from him. <laughs> look at them flat tops. Boy, look at them feet. They sure are getting a lot of vitamins lately, ain't they? <laughs> Those are skis. Skis? And it's a great sport, Junior. Oh. Watch me slide down the side of this little hill. Oh, isn't that dangerous? Now, don't talk him out. Don't let him go. He wants to show off. Let him go. <laughs> I'm not showing off, Junior. A good <laughs> skier is proud to give an exhibition of his skill. Oh, sure. I've been skiing ever since I learned to walk. Oh, thank you. Well, you. here goes. There he goes. Let him go, boy. He's heading right for a tree. He made it. Now he can learn to walk again. <laughs> he 
Well, maybe I shouldn't have tied his shoelaces together, huh? He's all right. Yeah. Well, it's too cold for me, Junior. Come on, let's go in. No, I'm going to get two boards and tie them on my feet and make myself a pair of skis and then go sliding down the street. Oh, no, you aren't. What? You might bump into an automobile and dent the fenders. Yes, sir. <laughs> She sure does love me, don't she, huh? You just better forget the idea. Why? Right. You might get going too fast and slide in the snowdrift and get buried. I don't care. I'd love to get buried in one of them snowbanks. I get buried so deep that they won't be able to find me till a spring thaw, you know? And then I will be there frozen stiff. And then the vultures will find me and they'll say, Oh, look at this delicious frozen food. They say. And then they will come over and have a picnic and start picking off of me widow bones, you know. And they'll say, Oh, what a good widow boy. And I'll be froze stiffer than a California driver on New Year's Eve. <laughs> and I will be dead. And you know what she... Oh, no, 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 What's the matter? I scared me, Dad. <laughs> Serves you right. You yes, heard me right. Always dreaming up such weird stories. Yeah, weird stories. Bless his little heart. Yeah, bless his little heart. <laughs> now, if you want to stay outside and play, go get the sled your grandfather made for you. Ah, oh, no, I just think it's too big and it's too heavy. Oh, it isn't so heavy. Then how come I tied it on the back end of a greyhound bus and it stalled it dead? Huh? Well, I'm right. going inside. Now, well. if you're good, I'll buy you some candy later. Some candy mm-hmm. for me? Yeah. How much? A whole big penny's worth. Well, thanks, sporty. You come in now if you get cold. Okay, well, <laughs> here I is, all alone. If anybody got heart trouble, you can leave now. You know. I think I'll sneak over to Mr. Frank's house and see what he's doing over there. Do 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 the snow is on the ground. Oh, there he is. Hello, Mr. Bozegi. Hello, you? Junior. Come here and see what I'm making for you. Huh? A snowman. A snowman? Yes. A big fat one? Yes. Pieces of coal for eyes? Yes. Room in his arm? Yes. What are they good for? <laughs> Everyone loves a snowman. Yeah, well, what's he doing on my sled? Get well, him up with that's so you can pull him over in your own yard and show your grandmother. Oh. Now, here's the sled rope. Pull easy now. No, and that's my neighbor. Are you? Uh-huh. I'm going to take this snowman and show him to me. Grandma. <laughs> Grandma, come here. Look, look what I got in the living room. Come here, come here. Look, look over by the fireplace. Look. Good heavens. Where did that water come from? Well, I don't know. Ask the snowman. He was here last. <laughs> oh, no. You didn't bring a snowman in the house. Yeah, I shook hands with him, and he was so cold that I thought I'd bring him in and let him get warmed up. Oh, <laughs> I give up. You don't... <laughs> Remember, we'll all be back with you next Tuesday at the same time. Red Skelton, David Forrester and his orchestra, Anita Ellis, Bernard Felton, Gigi Pearson, Pat McGee, and Wonderful Smith, and yours truly, Rod O'Connor. Until next Tuesday, then. This is Red Skelton saying goodbye now. Thanks for listening, and may we wish you all a very prosperous new year. Happy New Year, everybody. Men, smoke Sir Walter Raleigh. The quality pipe tobacco of America. It's the favorite of men everywhere who appreciate quality pipe smoking. Get smooth, mellow Sir Walter Raleigh. Brown and Williamson invite oh, you to other good listening during the week. Listen to People Are Funny with Art Link later next Friday night. Let's go to next Tuesday. Let's go to the end of this program through the courtesy of Metro Golden Bear. <laughs> Red Scout is brought to you by the Brown and Williamson Tobacco Corporation. I get cold.